one of the lads was chatting up this girl, right? And, like, they'd been sitting off in the corner, I'm not joking, for about two hours, right? And he, he actually ended up holding her hand and he still hadn't scored her yet. So we did ten lessons and I thought they went well, but I still wasn't ready. So then I did another ten and all in all, it took 30 lessons before I actually got out on the roads. He calls me baby, says kiss me like you mean it. I think Dan and I are finally at a stage where we can just relax and be ourselves completely. Yeah, that, that fight with Rebecca up in Club 92 uh, last week, I think that really sort of put the cat amongst the pigeons, you know? I think it kind of kind of ruffled a few feathers. Our relationship, it's, you know, it's gotten, it's gotten really comfortable and I feel really secure and... I just think we're skating on thin ice, you know the way? Thanks, Mr. Cheap. Right. Um, the pros and cons list has never steered me wrong in the past. I mean, any time I've broken up with a girl, I've never gone back. Unless it was for a bit of sex with the ex, but, you know, that, that doesn't count. No, Rich, I mean, that's fine if you want to have sex with them. I mean, we've all done it, but uh, no kissing on the lips because it's too personal. I think he's taking it a bit far with that one. OK, so she may be a model slash actress. Being an actress slash model is actually, it's, it's, it's really hard. I mean, people just assume that all you can do is look good, but, um, I mean, there's so much more to it. You know, a one-line role in Fair City and a fruit drink commercial, I mean, regardless of the quality of the, the fruit drink, it's not really something you can brag to your mates about, you know what I mean? Catwalk is, you know, it's an art in itself. You know, walking when in clothes, giving the photographer what he wants. I mean, I'm also good at posing. I mean, she she was competing in Miss Ireland, but she lost, you know? And that kind of thing can be a kiss of death for, for a model's career, you know what I mean? I mean, I also look really good in clothes, which is very important for an actress. She's still getting work now, but... She's not getting any younger, you know? I mean, even if you're just playing some complete knacker on Fair City. I mean, as my mum said to me at the time, she said, often it's working class women who wear the toughest outfits to pull off. I think what I'm going to do is put her in, put her in the con, shaky modelling slash acting career. I entered Miss Ireland. I didn't win. As I say to her, at least she lost to a future Miss World. And I hardly know, whoa, whoa. But, as Dan said, if my dad had written an 80s classic... This beauty by my side... ..like Lady in Red, I mean, then who knows? As it was, her dad was, you know, forced into early retirement following that whole scandal in the bank, so... ..you know, otherwise... I could have been a winner. Not that I'm a loser. But, you know, let's face it, there's no, there's no prize for, for second place. Well, I mean, she did win... Some really nice flowers and a voucher for Tony and Guy. But there again, I can't show that to the lads, can I? You know what I mean? So I'm going to put down in the cons list, Lost Miss World, Dad's a Fraud. I think that, that's probably fair enough. She does make me laugh. But, see, there again, that's not always intentional. And that's fine when, you know, when you're on your own. But, like, when you're here with the lads... Dan's friends all think I'm hilarious. I mean, the girls they hang out with must be really boring or something like that. The girls hated her at first. The girls that I've met who were Dan's friends have all been lovely. Dan seems to know quite a lot of girls. I was, I was actually, I was out with them last week and um, they all seemed really nice, but it was amazing. Not one of them ended up at the end of the night in the loo crying or anything like that at all. I mean, that's practically unheard of. I mean, once they got past the whole Oh my God, T4 thing. They, they thought she was lovely, you know what I mean? And, and the lads all love her. Um, they, the, lads all reckon, the lads all reckon I'd be crazy to break up with her because, you know, we've, we've obviously had that conversation already. But, you know, I think they forget that I did all right for myself when I was single, you know what I mean? I was kind of leader of the pack there, you know, for, for a while. So I'm going to put down makes a bad first impression. And then there's the whole college thing. 
clearly when I was doing SN Trinity. It just, it just wasn't for me. And I miss the girls way too much, Isolt, Rachel, Chloe, Neve and Sarah. And luckily, when I went to Arts and UCD, they were all repeating. But then that summer, we were all over on a J1 in San Diego and I was the only one who failed and there was no way I was going home to do repeats just by myself. Parents were really angry, but I just explained to them that Arts, it's way too vague for me. And I know what I want to do, so now I'm doing this really cool fashion course in... Ballyfermot. I mean, I don't know, like, I just, I don't know... The girls, of course, completely overreacted when I told them that. Should I be more worried about her sort of career prospects kind of dwindling or, you know, her actual personal safety, you know what I mean? Esalt even gave me a can of mace that her brother had taken home from a shopping trip in New York. I only took it from her because I know it's not safe in the hands of a ten-year-old. It's kind of a con, you know, it's like safety, you know, you don't want to be worrying about that the whole time. I know they slag me about it, but I really love it and, you know, I'm good at it. I, I don't get on with her friends. I don't like her friends at all. I think, I think the fact that, you know, Bex is a little different and she does her own thing, I think they're a little bit jealous of that. There again, you see, con, mates are all tools. It's like if your boyfriend wasn't on the SCT or isn't already driving his dad's BMW, he's not good enough. But they don't know, Dan. I have to say, the cons list is looking... I mean, it's looking a bit, a bit fuller there. I don't know. Never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. I was just thinking about you. Oh, thanks. You're so sweet. Listen, everyone's gone out, and I just wanted to know if you wanted to come over. And oh yeah. What kind of stuff? Mm, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Nah. Nah, I'll be there in about 20 minutes. It's just you and me. It's where I wanna be. All right, cool. Bye. Yeah, I mean, this can uh, probably finish this later on.